Hey guys, GameBoy3800 here once again, and this is the, um, Dell Precision M6400. I just replaced all the old thermal compound with IC Diamond 7, so, um, that should help. And I have it on a cooling pad at max speed. Um, the graphics card keeps, um, taking a dump on me, I don't know why. Rate this computer. Now hopefully it won't do a black screen of death like it did last time. This cooling pad needs to be replaced. So far it's keeping everything in line. Up oh, there we go. I have no idea why it does this. It's not, it's not a driver failure, is it? What did I do, download this to the wrong operating system? I have no idea. The fans and everything still run just fine. There's caps lock on. Fans will spin up when it gets hot. But even if I try to close it and try to get it to go into sleep mode, it won't. It's a very nice system and all, with a Core 2 Extreme in it. It's just this one stupid issue. It does it after you let it sit for a while too. And that's not good. So, and the only way to get out of this is to forcefully shut it down. As you can see, the driver is good to work now, just that as soon as we start to do that one test, it will happen again. And that test, I think, is required for Windows to know how to work with games and stuff. So yeah, IC Diamond 7, um, still not working right. Everything's plugged in. I made sure that if it wasn't plugged in, it would come up with an error saying cooling fan not plugged in. I know because I've done it before on another Dell. There's one more thing I can try to do, and that is... Um, Try a different hard drive because, uh, because I found that um, sometimes it's the registry files that screw up and make that happen. But I don't know. I'm going to see if I can find more solutions because this is um, kind of unusable because after an hour it'll do it. After doing anything too intensive, it'll do it. Although we didn't do it when I was gaming yesterday, which is very, very odd. Hmm. Bummer. 
I'm going to probably have to re return this. I don't want to because it's such a nice unit, but this is a issue I can't really get around. So, see you next time. Okay, I think I have found the solution to this um, video card issue with the M6400. If it'll ever sh shut down and reboot. Sometimes you complain about computers taking too long to boot up. What about them taking too long to shut down? But come on, hurry up. I have only all day, but you don't. So. Like I said before, I really need a new cooler. This power adapter on this is dead pretty much. Uh, it's probably going to now um, run the clean utility for Windows because I um, got rid of some files on the hard drive. Please wait. Cleaning up. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to say. Windows updates. Oh, no cleanup. Okay, fair enough. Not complaining. Dogs are barking at nothing. You guys are dogs. Wait for the chat extension to load up. I always have the chat extensions to show the temperatures and stuff. And, oh my god, stupid cooling pad. need a get a cooling pad that doesn't need its own power adapter and I don't know I don't know why it does this there's nothing popping up and as you can see graphics for that idle right now is at 131 but I got MSI afterburner So it's right, right now it's at 550 megahertz. I'm going to bring it down to 525. Or try to. Closest I'll get is 524, so let's leave it there. Memory clock is at 800, let's leave that. The main thing we're worrying about is the core clock. Maybe I should underclock it to um, 780. 781, close enough. Now hit apply. And now, um, it should run much cooler. Yeah, it's already going down. It's at 129 now. However, Let's see if this fixes the black screen issue when running the Windows Experience Index. Okay. System, where are you? There you are. Hey, what? 2.53 gigahertz, 2.54 gigahertz. I didn't overclock this. I don't think you can overclock this. The processor is definitely capable, but this doesn't have an overclocking BIOS. Whatever, not complaining. If it does a black screen, black screen, we'll take it down another 50 megahertz. Alpha blend assessment. This is what I think killed it the last time. Maybe if I just moved the mouse all around. Do something other than like sit there. Have the task manager open. You can see the CPU thing down here. I think it's lasting longer than it used to. 
I think that fixed it. And you watch a black screen in three, two, one. So close. What are the dogs barking at? I don't have anything coming in today, so they're barking at themselves. Come on, you can do it. This is the farthest you've ever gotten. Directory 10. I don't know. I don't know this old system was um, DirectX 10 compatible. It's Core 2 era. That's DirectX 9 era. Um, I've decided that I am going to go for the AM, no not AMD, um, I guess it's AMD nowadays, but the Fire Pro um, M7850 I think it's called. It's basically the same as the Radeon 5870M. So, um, that's got GDDR5 memory. This machine right now is GDDR3 memory. And that will make it better for gaming and um, benchmarks and stuff. But yeah, I'm on. Seems like underclocking the GPU certainly fixed something because it's past the main graphics test. The hinges on this are super tight. I don't know why. Maybe because it was almost never used, or maybe because they're going bad and they're about to snap into 10,000 pieces, like the M14 XR1 did on Christmas Day, pretty much. I got the fans revved all the way up. I guess I'll get back to you when this is all done. Okay, it's finally succeeded. Um, graphics are 6.7, pretty good score, but you know, even my super old GTX 275s have a 7.3. So yeah, I'm sure putting the memory speed or the core clock speed back up, some would fix that and get it up to a 7 maybe. But then it might start black screening again. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, the processor and memory scores, they're actually really good. I'll probably end up putting 16 gigs of RAM in here and make it, um, like both of these into 7.4s or something, maybe. But, at least for now, I'm happy. Much more stable. So that's it. I got, broke, and fixed the computer. So thanks, Gambayout, see you next time.